for the invitation of the one here in this kind of presentation. And uh, I'm talking about work which I was doing during the last year and it's not finished. Okay? So I hope that people will come out in a couple of weeks. But so far, it's sort of not completed, and there are some sort of shaky points. And unfortunately, we can get a good fit here. You know, the same better. <laughs> so, um, the idea is to use algebraic geometry methods of algebraic geometry to, be able to apply to ADSC correspondence. Typically, the other two is a print theory, you know, it's a separate but there are sort of obvious things I can try and I said that is sort of the motivation. Actually, the original motivation was from language when we understanding large distance units in the Netherlands. So that, that was the motivation and uh, the setting will be explained in a moment. Uh, you know, there's this thing of ADS3, or F3, or M4, where M4 is either G4 or a surface surface which has been under intense investigation for many years and we've talked about this paper for certain parameters for in its five plus B1, a pretty much also and there's a few of these rules from the nation available and developed by many spirit people and Puma. So this is also the, the realm that we're looking at. And uh, so I brought this problem from the boundary CSP and that involves a mathematical concept as it's able to give a flash review about. And then there's a wonderful formula uh, invented by what is called by Oberdick, which is very useful for addressing these numerical problems. And then I apply this to physics, I begin to try to cook it, then in this language, and then I include a lot of samples. And there will be some important caveats. So this is this setup very, very crudely. So there's this F1 and S5 system um, in, 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 in uh, the decompact uh, compact, uh, compact application of KC. And the near horizon limit is given by an ABS space, as it's well known. And at flux number one, or five frame number one, this theory is in a way topological, in particular, the otherwise present continuous spectrum of long strings with reference boundary is discrete, the continuum disappears. And there was a tremendous progress over the last 10 or 20 years by the and many other people. It's important to cite them all here. And they were able to show that the bulk theory at this point is given as a bridging relation to the free theory for the free theory, the spring model, and most of the work was done for before actually, and it has a free field realization and can be solved in the sense of that yeah? And there's a boundary theory related to this. And it's generally known that this boundary theory is a sigma model. Where the target space is the symmetric product, the default symmetric product of K3. And D is a parameter which depends on the chart, it's just your five is one. And that is sort of essentially N of the large N limit. And this corresponds to a large N and to the CFT. So that's what the word infinity. Uh, so I can think of here a bike theory, and then I have a boundary theory, and then there are correlation functions that involve insertion for. This operator with the boundary, <coughs> and we will, we will spend quite some time in discussing what they are. Yeah? But the idea is that you have tangible strings wrapped around the boundary where these are ramification points, and so the higher genus in the is generated. So the this field in their language, and the complication of correlation functions. Uh, and comparing correlation functions with the topical point of view and the ADS point of view is the field validation. That that has been you know an ongoing work for the like for the 20 years with an incredible position and the effort computation has been done. And in particular, I mean fantastic agreement in the large ending between these expressions to demonstrate. 
However, there's something missing to find the story, and this is what I, I, I try to find the motivation to look into this. So we have the sigma model on the boundary, which has this huge target space, where the T will be got infinity. This is an infinite dimension where the hyperscalar manifold. You know? and the point is that there's a modular space, uh, and there's a lower parameter of the orbital singularity of this smooth over. Yeah. And as such that if this vanishing of this parameter u, the theory is at its so-called 10 minutes spring point. And the point is that there's an infinite power we pick up with tension of things. So this is in a way the unbroken theory in the higher dimensional AD and the the point where the means theory. And then of course. Coming from the swamp land, the question would be what happens if the perturbed wave is also the new of what, what's going to happen? You know? And generally, it's believed that the theory should go into some kind of supergravity machine, which from this point of view would be strongly coupled. And that poses a little superficial tension to the, to the swamp land person because somehow it seems obvious because in the swamp land philosophy, it is that the large distance limit provides an infinite spectrum of a higher spin state, of the tangent, and the large distance limit would be a weakly coupled theory. While as it is strongly coupled interior of the model like case, uh, it wouldn't have a higher spin spectrum, more like a, maybe a non critical string. Uh, but here's the other way around actually being weakly coupled tangent string here at the center of the model. Like so, so that's why I found it interesting to look into this in detail. And the point is, so far, these computations have been done very close to this origin of this model space because people use conformal preservation theory between the really computer correlator, now the perturbed correlator, order by order. That works out for some practice for a few orders. But the people coming from the Calabiao world, all other conformal preservation theory is no problem. Because mirror symmetry and this is exact, exactly doing this. Uh, you sum up infinite order for conformity preservation theory by somehow working out the integration factor. And by the magic of how it works, I mean, it, it all works with contrast terms in so one stroke. Uh, the idea is to get a handle on this modelized space from the point of algebra primitive, where right, you get an all order global preservation expansion here. However, Really, there's a drawback that all the price to pay, namely, it will be topological, uh, it will always relate to GPS states. And uh, so that there's always a long to ever be done. So that, that, that's the drawback of this okay. uh, Yes, uh, all before singularity, which is in the disorder. And then, then there's a blow up module. There's a blow up, there's a P1 you can go up there. You can have it you can add this as a preservation. And that's that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. The order of the order fold is D, where e, D is essentially going to infinity. Normally in this in this business, you would say, okay, there would be a duality frame and the And all this question of scale separation so I mean, maybe asking that that's what it is. But from this framework, we actually don't know really what's happening here. And from this framework, you would say actually the, all the ADS is on all the sites in this because they say let's meet the cover the region with this one. But I would be saying it's just the object. So my, my interpretation is as follows. This point is, a, is a, in the center of the modular space, and it's analog to the other tension that brings the non And their property is that there is no gravitation. Gravity is the couple of the at these points, and one would go here and then have a sort of weakly coupled gravity. Yeah? This point here is a pendulous point with pendulous things, it sounds like gravity. 
But the geometry of this field this is where the ADS radius is one, it's the same as the thing, it's a highly curved quantum geometry. And I think there is no notion of weekly couple gravity there. It's highly curved. And the miracle is that you have a perturbative genome. But I think it can be reconciled with the expectation by saying, well, it's like a non critical screen and then has to be weakly coupled, but it's not the to gravity. It's a very peculiar point, and, and I already anticipate that even if one can sum it up in the all orders, uh, everything breaks down here. There's no obvious way to sum this or treat this lawyer in the domain. This is coming soon. So, this is now the idea. Um, so far, a few orders and perturbations we have done, and that that's the most horrible, complicated common approach of this field. The representation of the and and concept of the system, and the orbits, and blah, 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 and the whole industry was in this. But just from you know, general gut feeling from, from algebraic geometry, there should be a linear method which focuses on a chiral or BKS subsector of the theory, and then one can use the metadata method. And the centerpiece is this form of written Hilbert correspondence by over the state out and it they represent this picture in their papers. Yeah, so actually it's a multi-dimensional one. There are more corners on this. Yeah. Uh, so here we have the Hilbert the sigma model the Hilbert And here we have the more written view and this is what she won. Talk about this here. And so, if you see this and now ADS, then what is the obvious guess this? Well, this should apply here somehow. And the idea would be that this P1 here, which is, which is the world should be for you, this P1 is the boundary of ADS. You know? And uh, they have invented a machinery because in the branch covering over this, we don't count them, the covering that to obtain their relation function. So, this is actually the content of the formula. So, the idea is to put the zip P1 with the boundary of radius 3 and identify the orbit for the law of the field with the top coupling. And the counting of the covering maps then will be done by its own different map. So let's say some few words on, on this Hilbert scheme stuff, uh, was fun. So we have correlation function or from within them, say, uh, the gamma topology classes of the field C. Yeah? And there's a very simple construction for them. The representatives uh, we invented by Nakajima is a box space construction. You essentially, you apply uh, this welding operators here on some corner of the of KC and add another comedy class of KC if you like. And then these are kind of twist of length A, which is in some other language, a winding number or a spectral flow um, shift. Yeah? So in general, these commodity elements can be represented by starting from some identity, and then have an application of these operators where each one <coughs> inserts an optional element of the tree, and then one adds a twist field on top of it. And this data which go in here, uh, I sort of can be combined, typically the new I form what is called the partition of E. Uh, but because of this mixture with KC, um, they come together paired with some common geodesic of KC. Um, one plus, for example, the one has a list of these, these, these combined partition and that's called a homology rated partition. So that's the kind of tension of the covering. And there's a total degree of charge, you know, which refers to the Q here. So, this so far, this was homology classes, but they are also called the homology, and that's very well known. Actually, Dicup has been writing in, in the 90s. I wonder if like, you were aware of all of this. So the statement is that the H2 is just the same of K3 itself, 
except one extra element and it's the curve. And this is the exceptional blow up curve before the particularity. Okay. That's a complete page two. And in this language uh, of this of this Plantagema top face uh, representation, this is just a point plus is uh, K3, and then you have a twist of order two. And that there's no connection to K3 itself. And therefore it appears of course only if the hit D, the D is larger than one. Because what in the case is that we go on the one. Then we consider also a curve in K3, which says it affects such classical to be representative because we want to count maps in the, in the curve classes. So we have just one element of that. We this operator here, and we can package them together into one curve class of H2, which has which is labeled by H, and K, the K is just um, um, well, K times the this 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 so now we want to make homomorphism and count them. Yeah? So one wants to count in the supervision model holomorphic maps into the target space. This extra inversion, you know, it is in the boundary of the ADS here because of the external boundary conditions there. So the incidence relations, the incidence conditions. Yeah? So in, in a word, we want to. Computer account net in D into this 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 process directly you know, with the parameter subject that they intersect or touch um, the 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 global stuff. The instruction in the theory, theory and then we have the evaluation yeah. and there's of course a uh, a, a charge rule, a degree rule, which says, okay, it must be satisfied in order for this to be on the However, now um, here's a major obstacle. This is the biggest caveat in the whole enterprise. The point is that there are no classical homophones. And in physics, I would say this is just reflecting the fact that the problem of work is not the problem of the problem. Correlation function. Well, so what to do with this? So let's see what is the reason why 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 the why the vanish is there. So the mathematicians formulated in this way that you count polymorphic maps in the curves in one one touch class of that one one. But there exist deformations in the Christine such a confirmation, which move them into uh, outside of this, maybe they go with you. But this invariance must vanish because you can't put them the curve and make it one, so it's not zero. On the other hand, the Gomo segments are completely invariant, otherwise, uh, invariant, otherwise it would be called invariant, and this means they must vanish to be to identity. So the way out. The mathematicians are proposing is to modify the definition of the event to introduce it used some of the events and then that define the and the other of these names. And the mathematical log logic is to change the construction theory so that this equation is between the core and in a more physics way, a way to, to, to use it is to consider the K3 as a fiber of a Calabrian field. Uh, and, and this means uh, the deformations are restricted. Uh, they automatically stay in in the of one one. So therefore, this this argument doesn't apply anymore. So one considers the K three as a fiber of a calibre calibre threefold in the limit where the base of this uh, vibration goes to become very large, and one really is. Really considered only intrinsic properties of the system. Right? So, when it does not really use the really color of such, but when it works, you know, one can say blah, blah, blah. But in the end, it is 
a restricted situation. And therefore, I'm not sure in the end if I adopt this, 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 this definition. I'm not sure what it actually means for ADSC. Okay. So my, this, this is certainly count curves and count DPS states in some sense, but to make a map to correlation functions in ADS, I, I, I don't know. But it's really trouble. The naive thing there is zero. You know? But um, by say you look into an asymptotic situation where the K3 actually is typically a fiber of the hour and such that uses information that that if the, the, this one, one class is long if they form into these in this way uh, count can be making actually all these curve counts or all these things uh, are, are doing this. Yeah, yeah, this is one way of saying this too. Yeah, but, but so far, this is. The gamma eyes are the ones I was, I was already shown these are the common regard to the river team. These are the things that sit here in the boundary. Actually, this is now a different, I mean, there, there are other things that come back to this later, but morally speaking, these are the operators which sit at its a boundary and which are branch points which glue the various sheets together around the world because now they create branch points with the equivalent for high in the surface. And this high means in the surface both the virtue of this, this central So certainly one can count something and somehow it will be the states, but I cannot really say, okay, I can imagine it is correlation. And now uh, this, this strategy has been used previously to execute it before in, in this work, there's a statement for such as your counting formula, which will be later, and also the KPE formula, the KPE buffer formula. Which correspond to the equal zero. The equal zero means no case three being present. So this is somehow not in the framework, but but at least with the logic here, we can find something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now the centerpiece is this equation by Overdeek. And that, that's a very important and interesting. So we have here the Hilbert side, we have the correlation function with this insertion. We are labeled by this form of geometric partitions. And uh, I count maps from minus zero into this first. And K, I, I, I remember, I recall with this, with this lower class, yeah, with K times K, and the sum is over right to the K that is the down. Yeah? On the other hand, on, the, on, the, on this side, these are the variants for the youth ones of K3 plus the uh, one. Is some fixed point. Uh, they are relative uh, certain points. If you want these other locations of this, this field. And they are a genus G. There are the little genus expansion coming out here. And these are branched covering of the D. And the D is inherited from the field. Okay. So one counts. Um, maps uh, uh, of, of the degree into the P1, the front of And this, this is exactly the story of what, what, what the radiation is all the way done in the present. And the interesting thing is that there's a map between the Y and the U, an exponential here. It's shifted by the region. So this is the B field, it's a it's this orbital point, which is quite a phenomenon on the screen theory. So what we do here is an exponential expansion but this is a global model, you know, we have some different. Huh? And here we have a power like genus expansion and counting holomorphic maps in, in this kind of huh? So this, this is, uh, I think, I think it's an important formula. And also, of course, because it's a mathematical identity, it works for any D, uh, D does not need to be large. Huh? So on the left hand side, these things were the homology weighted partitions, but what, what is it on the right hand side? So what does it actually mean? Uh, so we have to go back to the definition of well, what what, what are the quantities uh, we're looking at? These are these gammas, and they were labeled by pairs of uh, 
the partitions, component of the partitions, together with one of the length of the formal length of this league. And the translation here in this language, can be what we want, is that they are becoming essentially um, twist fields um, paired with formal length. Uh, and now this is sort of a, a, an example, a picture, because that's not easier. So we consider a P1, which has three of the versions. Yeah. That's the bottom line here. And then, then um, well, we have four sheets. So I count the lowest sheet we are identified with one here. And then we have these insertions with the full dots for the form of the form of the classics H, epsilon one of the three, just the points. And then we have the uh, formal integrated partitions, and they just tell how the people or sheet are linked. There are the solid lines, means uh, uh, non trivial ramification, the other line, no ramification, trivial ramification. So, that, for example, that these things are identified. There are all the four sheets that are together here on this point, and there is that the black dot, this is the signal four. Together with uh, each one of them. So there's one cycle here, then there's two cycles here, and four cycles here. And this one is just a representation of the floor. Uh, so this is a six point function one, two, three massive states, and then two massless scalar moduli, I would say, plus one massless um, deformant. Uh, so this is a beam of zero beam on top of the emerging. Now these Gomo Witten invariants, they count maps, yeah, and they count maps from higher units from the five point into this uh, geometry. And one can go on from this because now there's a very famous approach first 10 years ago about. By Funker and Parangu and Hande, who call this form of written rules through the following problems. And what they say is that essentially there's a duality or a correspondence of, of this, this covering theory, this, 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 this French covering the twists in terms of 2D topological gravity, essentially by identifying the twist field by the particular yeah. So that's a translation of the gammas into a linear combination. These are matrices that we can specify, which is the But essentially, it translates this into a product of the combination paired with the combination. Yeah? So you map the whole thing into topological gravity which is probably an advantage. I mean, because in principle, you have to call this intersection theory behind and the curtain relations. I mean, the mirror to this world, you could hold this, you could say, and it would be much simpler than this other computation, one is using, or this one is using the fifth field, you know, um, complicated combinatorics or product of representation. So from this correspondence at the end, I mean, this is a basic arbitrary descendant corresponds to exactly with the universal fifth is my And it enters as a perturbation to the lines and into the direction in which they are fixing the value of the count. Okay, so one can assemble this into a generated function. So one has the composition variance, and we also now take the scalar model with tau, and this tau for the not to be copied with the composition of the double plate to the attendant, so we just a fiber class with the three plate. So we call it Q, and then we sum also over Q, and then we spend, and then we have the composition variance. Uh, so generically, I thought they have this form, but discussion since then. Uh, Tell me it actually looks a bit different, but morally speaking, it is something like that. So we have these insertions, then we have some post classes that we inserted because uh, uh, what is behind us is uh, here the uh, um, formulas uh, for gravity. We need 
them to, to make this one vanishing entire bit in general. And the important thing is that in one way or the other, this is maybe not written very correctly, but in one way or the other, you need a number of n tau t1 insertions in order to make the degree rule right. So this means we have this, this equation here, and, and that evaluated into this. And this rule must, well, it must uh, reproduce, I mean, the number of insertions in Swiss and you must work out correctly. And in general, there's a deficit. Uh, if we could describe a genus, they have to be seen in 100,000. Then you need roughly 100,000 insertions of the G1 to make it more managing. You want to get that to the number there. And one can view this as a generating function with boundary conditions described you know, by this gamma. Uh, that's it with the boundary. Actually, in this ADS literature, it becomes evident that this is an optimal picture, and depending on the configuration, which is very high twist fields, then the strings really extend more to the interior. Yeah? And the only thing which is really at the boundary are these gamma. Okay? So, this is a partition function where you can do these partitions here. They sort of encode these, these insertions here. You can view them as a background to a machine. Yeah? And then the perturbations in Q and U then. Are they expanding? Um, we are mainly interested in the um, So, how does it connect to physics? So, somehow you would like to think that this Q is like a string couple because that's exactly how it works because in other instances of the strings. So, it cannot be the string couple because even at the orbit point point, you need to zero. That's already a non zero genus expansion thing here. The default point of the ADS is the tail around you and the large one expansion. So, how does it tie together? So, my point of view would be that this geometry here, the background geometry, defines a bare curve. This is genus, it can be negative, it can be highly disconnected. Huh? And um, Related to this geometry, which exists at least to zero, you would multiply away this by, by the string coupling, as we call it, coupling double divide in this way, bare curve. <laughs> and uh, you write it in this way. And then you make the usual map, you know, from the theory a large, this is a map which sort of implements a large n, the full large n limit. So D is essentially n. And this string coupling is actually fixed uh, because it's not just a compactification. I mean, this is a new horizon geometry on, on the ADS side. Uh, and in the new horizon geometry, the string coupling flows to one fixed point and, and D, is, D is a fixed number, not a fixed number. Well, it could be n is a fixed number. If you make this transformation, then you end up with this formula. And this term is exactly what the, what the IDF people say is it's a string coupling company. So it's a large end limit and the three level survives. The new ingredient here is that you have this extra parameter, which is U, and that has, that has interpretation of the whole problem. Yeah? So you start from some bare German tree, that you can believe, one is not a boundary. And then you can switch on lambda and make an infinite order activation extension. Uh, so, an example is the most trivial, but also the most significant uh, example is at a trivial ramification. Um, it has no, no branching, no neutral branching here at this point. And so, this, this, these guys here. Just the equality of theta modulus here. Right? Another time, and then just one more, and that essentially only needed to, to make the big sort of the automatic one of the stability, not really important. So one has a two B plus one point correlation function here, but it's completely degenerate because all these sheets are separate. Yeah? So they correspond to tenderless strings. Which don't couple to each other, yeah? the heat becomes large as it can be many, and they're completely different. So, this is the most degenerate 
point you can put with the start and the logic of the tension of strings. And now the question is what happens? Well, but this leads to this generating function definition. And now the extremely important point um, in the probability is that this can be called a stack value to all orders, which involves a Jacobi form, yeah, which I explain in the next slide. And it covers these two special cases, namely if we use one, the focus one drops, you get uh, one over delta in uh, 24. That's the usual Yau Sassel formula. And P equals zero, this is a KTV formula that is that ends up into the denominator and take the and this formula appears in many publications of black hole TV and the field of general and general. And there's a lot of literature about is it holes and whatever it means. Yeah. Here it appears actually this positive power, so there are no holes here. But uh, also we have to deal with zero doesn't really make sense in this context because it means it should be here. So in this context, actually, this factor has nothing to do with the three, it has to do with the extra G3 and for some percent of mass motion. So this the physics context is well different. But but at least this function appears here in the so this is a Jacobi form can be written in terms of a theta function as everybody knows. And it's a standard, standard Jacobi generator of modular weight minus two and then index M, which means just that the modular function has properties are like this. And that's all the double periodicity in this lattice. gives you this effect. And at infinite, K3 fiber volume Q equals zero, which is a unique one. If you take, then this function turns just in the square of this ridiculous sine function that appears in all these enumerated problems around the Buddhist theory, every day of the sine function. Uh, uh, you can do this as a building block, as a view, and can divide this form of written expand in this way. And, and in this way, everybody knows that this then is the property of buffer expansion, and the sum is and then the integers here as the county gets it. Okay, good point. Can you access again at the end? <clears throat> yes, you are. Okay, so the question is what happens now if we expand around the orbital? Yeah? And the idea is, of course, that interactions will link these disconnected pieces together, which can be used as a binding process, and to things. And if you perturb it high enough, there are inversions, then these sheets are all pulled together. There is no disconnect anymore, and you get a connected sheet of zero ring and surface, which corresponds then. To a bound state of originally e single rep strings to one d e time rep string. Yeah? So naively, uh, one would expect that this expansion would reproduce the simple Hobbit number, but actually, this one uh, now is touching this. this. Then, sent, uh, I have figured out what, what is wrong with this picture. I just want to say this would be the picture, the picture would be correct if you would treat the conversion of type or one themselves with ordinary ramification. Um, but the geometry, if you want to generate the course, the corrections actually are all localized apparently on, on, on this line. On this picture that you did. And that's the reason why this expansion is not given by, by Hubitz numbers, but was just given by a power of the sign function. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You, you need at least these. Because let's put it this we have four sheets, yeah. And if you add one, one fist fields here, it's not connected. But if you add two and the other one here, then this link these two sheets together. Well, these original twist fields are trivial here because of the most general situations. The ADS people typically start with something here already, 
and 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 uh, compute the Rubik's numbers out of this. Then they start with this equation more like this. But they also prove that then you have only a finite number of, 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 of schemes. So whenever you start with the success equation, you don't perturb it. Your your genus is fixed. Your genus expansion is okay. So you need to switch on on the view in order really to get them into your genus expansion. Okay. So there's a difference between this what's coming out here and the action. Yeah, it can be written in terms of Hubert's numbers in this way, and there are sort of corrections. And so you have to be honest with that. And I have to think, well, soon I can tell you. So, but the more interesting, potentially more interesting situation is, is the one where you go to infinity. Huh? Because that that is somehow one one wants to well one wants to, one wants to address problems of scale the generation and the supercarbonate limit that that would be the limit and uh, because we have this Jacobi form uh, a priori it looks like very periodic a priori you would say okay this is periodic and every every so on so many shifts uh, you get to a new weekly couple point and we can make new expansions around this and this theory is essentially become identical, which is anyway um, um, would be interesting. Yeah. However, because the index of the Jacobi form is one zero, you gain extra anomalous factors that punish you and they become divergent. Yeah? So this means that this function, if, if you want to move we got to infinity, even if you fall back C by by shift. Uh, back into this fundamental domain, uh, you, will, you will end up with this different right? and they're going to work the result. So we can write it in a different way. So that's a limit. You go to infinity, which is y equals zero. So y equals zero with a symptomatic behavior like this. So you see it's very bad diversion. And, and then you have, of course, the next corrections are these ones. And if this condition satisfied, and then, then this term is smaller than one, so so then then this is count up to option. So in other words, um, it's a very bad singularity. This is some periodic structure. So there, there's some repeating pattern, but nevertheless, you end up with a horrible singularity, and there is no way a sort of there would be a simple duality transformation or something into which you can transform and then things become free and then there is here. Yeah? And I think this is exactly fitting with this philosophy about resurgence in the matrix model, because, and this is the funny thing, this feature appears also all the time in the topology of things. Even in the cross, we heard by the by yeah, you have typically this thing coming lambda s being an elliptic parameter, which enters say as the belief it is a first entry of this topology form, and it's by its nature a little and a periodic parameter. And this question, what happens if you send it to infinity, it's the same as when there's a universal fraction in this field, and it needs to be repaired or slightly by non presence completion. It's like a certain extra piece, which is not captured in the formula. Yeah. And I think this question, I mean, the whole basic question what happens at large you put the hand it to you, and I asked you this already, what happens with lump, large lambda as a music? This is the same question. Yeah. And the question is, does the non perturbative completion will search in, you know, what does it say in this limit? Does it, does it repair something? Yeah. But we don't have hold. That's the difference. No, no, even here, there are no hold because uh, the problem form is impossible to find the limit. So that's just that we don't have code, but it's zero. But the problem is the same. I mean, it's, it's not in the code. The problem is really, uh, actually, as I learned from Thomas, this is just a sine function. Sine of u in the limit of large of u goes to infinity. It's a non thing function in English. Yeah. So this very simple limit, yeah, sine of u, u goes to infinity is the same thing which often do not allow to do it. So somehow it must be repaired by also from the perspective of you know, the people and topology strings and Hobbit theory. I mean, there's lots of work on 
on on on, on that is going to be you know, that, um, if it occurs in mean, whatever the air is the dog would be large well probably it's a large company usually these models are non-compact because one looks for only for a type of you know, symmetry why it is compact but at least I mean this is clear that the expressions are out there that can uh, sorry, no, no. There's a conclusion. <laughs> so the, the, the aim was to understand the global structure of this model space, which is the mode, which is a coupling constant, a code parameter. Then it's a topological toy model for something, which is anyway already uh, simplified here in the US. And uh, one can use this kind of universal correspondence to really map this into a unit expansion with a code parameter. And the basic example is exactly tolerable, except at infinity. And the caveat is, I'm not sure what this uh, reduced to the area is actually mean for ADS CFD. And then there are other questions. And, and then, of course, then we will have the Okay, thank you. Thank you. Problem is that this a priori, if the physics of this is the neuroidal limit of some brain configuration or whatever, and it's not like an ordinary interpretation where there's a superficial. Yeah. K3 is sort of riding along, except uh, after you I would think K3 doesn't make anything um, interesting, which I get it, and it's very great to get it. But however, it would end this here in this field of the formula. So as long as it is not zero, but even even provides an upper bound of the coupling. And then this is a non zero phenomenon, and I'm sure you didn't afford it. But the question you have is here. Yeah. Yeah, here it's going to be zero, and that has to be with the one. So that is fair. Yeah. Of course, there's ADS that seems to be all the other boundaries, and there's this case of the polar time, which is gamma ADS. And um, over the did I make all the statements about this and uh, there's a very funny story. I mean, there's a partition function you find it again one over type 10, which is the usual stuff, the usual you know, genius of genius or similar products of that three and so on. And uh, so what is turf very much is the point is that even for the equal one where you have still uh, one single three, there's a non trivial U or Y variable. Which didn't exist here because we had a product, nothing has been brought in. The funny thing is, they are able to disentangle this formula into two pieces. One is the choosing of the product of, of, yeah, so of the symmetry, the delta y dependence, and an extra term for the world possible. So it's an extra object in the game which provides one into the context of the world. And then um, there are also the phenomenon that took place and could at least disreconcile with the system. And um, there have been recent work on the real people who are the hard on partition functions, you know, that the total problem of these some of the work that are modified in the And there's another sort of tricky thing because the boundary itself is the value. It has an interior. I mean, this boundary of ADS is from the inside. 
So it's not really that you can't curve, match the curves in the two bounding, but actually you can bounding the boundary of something. And then still you could think of contracting so what, in what sense you have a non hilbert curve part. And uh, thereby it's arguments, but at least in interdelinity, it can really a stick to the boundary. But um, they are always stick to the boundary with two different versions. So even if you go to the high level, at least the limit level, the dimension of the boundary is very large. You know, the virtue still looks like a provider which attaches to the boundary and on the inside. And probably only the topology of the branch point might have been for the But but this could also be a little bit what curve counts really. But if I see how they curve the count first and how from the beginners count for then it's the same thing. Uh, so I, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 There is this. There are these operators which up for your. Well, this is a set of data. We need the data or this phone which you write the partition. It's a set of partitions in case we. And they are given in 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 over for example this field actually we have so we have say sigma two sigma two and sigma four here and sigma one here and sigma two sigma here but in this correspondence these things translate into the object and and there's a complicated map I mean this is a probably matrix this is a vertical and in this way you can translate the amplification conditions into uh, the, uh, the, 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 the 